Station 5. So, my phone. My phone is, my phone is, I have a love-hate relationship with phones. Do I have something on my teeth? Part of me is all for phones. Part of me is like, yes, let's do it. Let's check, let's check my, uh, what do you call it? What am I saying? Screen time? Yeah. My daily average is actually down 22% right now. It's currently at five hours. Okay, and then there's part of me that I want to throw my phone out, you know, so today we're gonna today we're gonna go through my phone and I'm gonna expose myself with everything that's on it. I have an iPhone 10. It's really cracked. We're gonna we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna sit here. So or should I sit here? Yeah, I'm gonna sit over here. <laughs> okay, so when you first open my phone, it's a picture of me and um and a boy. And when you open it up, this is what my home screen looks like really, really eventful. eventful and then this is my like my screen i have things separated into categories oh and then my my background is just a picture of an orange and water bottle i don't really know it was off of pinterest so on my first page this is all the like utility stuff that apple puts on your phone and you feel guilty for not deleting i just have my camera and then my photo album apps in camera Nothing crazy. I think I only have, I only have 500 and... <clears throat> I only have 570 photos. Anyways. And then, just going right, I have all of my maps. I like to think that I'm good with directions, but I'm not. So Google Maps, Waze, Spin is like... I didn't know that. It's like a scooter app, like a bird scooter in LA. They have those in Utah. So then I just have my notes app. Settings, time just has clock, calendar, and weather in it. It's really not. These are apps that Apple puts on your phone and I just feel so guilty for deleting them, but I literally will never, never use them. I don't know why I have them. And then also this one, this is a bunch of stuff that I just literally never use. I mean, GarageBand, don't get me wrong. I. I be jamming. I be jamming in GarageBand. I don't use the music app that Apple puts on there. I don't have Apple Music. I use Spotify. I actually use this bundle a lot. And so Flow is like my period tracker app. This is an intermittent fasting app that I actually really, really enjoy. During quarantine, I've been trying to regulate my eating schedule because I have such a weird sleep schedule now where I don't wake up till 12 and I don't go to bed till four. Actually, today I woke up at nine, besides the point. But I've been trying to regulate my eating schedule a little more so I'm not late night snacking when I'm not even hungry. Right now, I'm testing out the 18 hours off six hours on. I eat from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then the rest of the time I'm only drinking water. But yeah, this app makes it super easy to do. It's called Zero. And you can choose different levels of fasting that you wanna do. Anyways, then I just have my app store and then I also have all of my school apps right here. I'm filming a video instead of doing school right now. I also have my church app, so like my scriptures and then like a family tree. You can like see your ancestors, I don't know. Contacts, I'm Safari. So that's all on my home screen. And then for this page, I have it divided up into four different sections. So I have my social media, all of editing apps, any type of like video production. I have YouTube and Netflix in there. My mail, so like Gmail and stuff. And then all of my shops. So in the social bundle, I'm just gonna call it bundle. I've decided it's a bundle. I don't know what to, what do I call this? I have Pinterest, Shazam. CoStar and Instagram and sometimes I'll have snapchat on there. It really depends. I had no use for it I didn't use it very much and so I just deleted it But now I've started using it again, but I just deleted a lot So Shazam I have that on there instead of snapchat because you know how you'll hold down on snapchat to hear a song in a store and you're just You can do that on Shazam. I go through phases of Pinterest. I will go through phases where it is my most used app, more than Instagram, more than YouTube. I save things so much. So if you wanna follow me on Pinterest, I recommend that you do.
you know, you know what I'm saying? I have a workout board, like a room decor board, lookbook, nails. Chef has like 400 something. So I recommend you follow me on Pinterest. Then I just have CoStar. So CoStar is an app that has to do with your star sign, like your horoscope. I don't really believe in that, but it's still cool to see. But also this app sends you daily quotes and like little reminders. I mainly have this app because it just sends cute little reminders and stuff that are sometimes really deep and you're just, wow, that's Deep. And then after CoStar, I just have Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, that's so cute. My editing apps. So pretty much, I like editing photos. Not so much altering them, like adding a cute filter or adding grain or adding some stickers. I love it. I almost like editing videos and photos more than I like taking them. So I have Visco. I just kind of post random things on Visco. It's more of like my public camera roll. I've had Visco probably since middle school. I had it before the whole like Visco girl thing happened. <laughs> After this, I have Photoshop, Hip, Lightroom, Pixar, Preview, Tezza, Vaunt, Hyperlapse, 1998 Cam, Fonts, Magic Razor, Fonto, and Superimpose. So Photoshop and Lightroom, pretty obvious. Everyone knows what they are. So Hip is an app that you can actually... I'm exposing myself again. It's an app that disguises itself as like an audio manager. But these, these sliders literally do nothing. But if you hold down the audio manager and you add in your pin code, it actually is like a secret spot for all your photos and notes and stuff that you wouldn't want on your camera roll. You can put them on here, which is a good thing and bad thing, but literally I have recipes and I screenshot a lot of recipes. They just look bad in my camera roll, so I deleted it. So then, yeah, Photoshop and Lightroom, those are normal. Pixar is an app that you can put like stickers and text and fonts over your photos, and I use that a lot. So Preview is an app that you can connect to your Instagram and then you can see, you can can post a picture on preview and see if it would look good if you're trying to keep like a good feed or if you want your Instagram to look nice. Tezza, Tezza is probably my favorite editing app more than Visco and that's that's saying something. I always use the vintage filter. That's my favorite one. I don't have the pro version or anything. I only use the vintage one. If you guys want to see a video on how I edit my pictures, let me know. Font is where you can put text on top of video. Hyperlapse is just a hyperlapse app. Pretty cool. 1998 cam. I don't use that really often. I'm not really a fan of the whole vintage camera look like a Polaroid film. So fonts is an app. This is how I get like my cute little hearts or arrows that I have that I put on Instagram sometimes and it's an app that you can connect to your phone and you just have this little button here and then it gives you all these cute little like a turtle I want to be able to type a turtle and now I can't I love turtles I like turtles then I have magic eraser you can turn a photo into a PNG Fonto Fonto is just another app that I add text on I have a lot of these apps to create thumbnails for videos and then superimpose I don't really know what superimpose does but it turns again it turns certain images that you want into a PNG. And I don't even know what a PNG is, but for some reason it works. Uh, in my videos one, I have Netflix, YouTube, YouTube Studio, iMovie and GoPro, Mail, my like bank account, my email, my regular mail, and then I have Venmo. For my last bundle of apps, I have all of my like shopping apps. I love, sh I got this shirt from Shein, okay? I love Shein. I just ordered like six swimsuits off of Shein. Is that even how you say it? I don't even know if that's how you say it. Shein or Shane, Cheyenne, and they're super, super affordable. And then I also have one that's pretty similar to Shein called Zawful. Zawful is pretty much Shein. They have a lot of the same clothing, but again, I absolutely love it. I've ordered swimsuits off of here. And then I have Amazon. I have Amazon Prime, I absolutely love it. Upshe is a swimsuit brand that has really, really good quality suits. They're super cute and it's still, they're still affordable. And then I have ASOS. I have ASOS for like dresses. I ordered my prom dress off of ASOS and it was really pretty and then prom got canceled so those are all my bundles and then also I have down on my like most used I again don't know what to call it a bundle I just have phone 
iMessage, FaceTime, and Spotify. I am an avid Spotify user. I've been on Spotify. I don't even know how long I've been with Spotify. Let me tell you, if you want a good summer hype, like that's literally what's called Summer Hype 2020. I made this and I'm really proud of my playlist. I have like a summer one, I have a fall one, I have a driving one, I have a country playlist that has like 17 hours of songs on there. I love Spotify, so follow me on Spotify too. All of this will be linked down below. So let's just jam out for a second. <laughs> Good. That was good. That was good. That was a good jam out session. So notice how I don't have TikTok on my phone. I've actually downloaded it twice and I've deleted my account each time and I've had it for a solid three days each time. I don't know, I never caught on to having TikTok. So many other people did, but when I scroll through Instagram on like my explore page, all it is is screen recordings of people's TikToks. And so that's how I get my TikTok fix. Obviously, it's the biggest app. I'm pretty sure it's the most used app right now, but I read somewhere and there's media going around that's saying that it collects info on you and collects info on what you're doing on your phone. And that just scares me really bad. And I'm pretty sure a lot of apps do that. I don't know. I don't know. It scares me. But that, that's, that's my phone. That's my whole phone. Yeah, stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe, I really would appreciate it. I really like people. What? And then also follow me on my other social media. It'll also be linked down below. I really like interacting with you guys, like I said. I go through phases of being on my phone and then not wanting to be on it at all. Right now, I'm in one of those phases where all I'm doing is being on my phone, which is not healthy, but it's fine. Stay tuned for another video. It's pretty cool. Bye!